Hello everyone. Today we are going to be analyzing the web application that is hosted on the web server, aka we want to gather data on this website of Mr. Robot. To do that, we want to be using Burp Suite. Burp Suite is a proxy-based pen test tool that is used for analyzing traffic. How it works is that we will send data from our browser, aka Firefox, to Burp Suite and then back to the internet. Burp Suite will then save all the network traffic being sent between the browser and the website, and we can use that data for analysis and look for vulnerabilities. So first we want to start off with by searching for Burp Suite. So we can go ahead and click the top left corner and just type in Burp. So Burp Suite actually comes pre-installed onto Kali Linux. If you get this message, don't worry about it. You just press OK. So because it's pre-installed, it's super great because we can just search for it and start it right up. We are going to be using the free version of Burp Suite, which is the community edition. Go ahead and click I accept. Close this out. And because we are using the community edition, we can only use temporary projects, which is no problem at all. So we can go ahead and click next, use Burp default, and start up Burp. So the professional version of Burp actually comes in with a whole bunch of functionality, such as vulnerability scannings, all these extensions, but the community edition just works as a proxy-based analysis, which is no problem at all, because we can go ahead and start scanning our website. So first, the first thing we wanna look at is go ahead and go to proxy, and then we wanna to go to options. So first we wanna configure our proxy appropriately. So if you go over to proxy listeners, we see that there's already one checked by default, but just in case you don't have this set up, or you want to configure this a little bit more manually, you can go ahead and highlight this, click edit, and we want to make sure the bind to port is 8080, and then we want to say bind to address, loop back only. So what that means is that on IP address 127.0.0.1, we will actually have an open listening port that Burp Suite will listen on. So any traffic being sent to this IP address on this port Burp will automatically ingest and then pass through back to the internet. So now that we have that set up, we can go over to intercept and we, we just want to leave our page here because this is the page where we're going to be seeing the HTML traffic. So HTTP, I'm sorry about that. So if we move this over to the side, let's open up Firefox, go over to the top left corner. Awesome. So the first thing we want to do is configure Firefox to send all our traffic to that 127.0.0.1.8080. So, so if you go over to the top right corner, open menu, and then preferences, and then in, find, in the search bar, we can type in proxy, and go to settings, and now we wanna configure our proxy here. So if, you go, so if you go over to manual proxy configurations, we can type in 127.0.0.1, and of course the port would just be 8080. Awesome. So what I like to do is just click use this proxy for all protocols. This includes HTTPS, HTTP, and so on and so on. We can click OK. Awesome. So now if we go back and we open up a new tab and we type in the IP address of our Mr. Robot web server and click Enter. Awesome. You can see Burp Suite automatically pops up and we see our first HTTP request. This is fantastic. So we can go ahead and click Forward. And then we want to turn intercept off because now we just want the traffic to free flow through. So if you go ahead and click this target tab, we can see that the IP address has already been logged and we can already see a bunch of traffic being sent through. So if we click this drop down, we can see all these bunch of directories, files, folders, and whatnot. So what we want to do first is we want to crawl this website. What that means is that we want to see all the directories and all the files that, that are hosted on this web server. Because a web server works essentially as a holding device for files, we want to be able to see what files are hosted on this website and see if the system administrator had, has uploaded something that he shouldn't have. So to start off, first we want to set up the scope. So if you go ahead and click right click and add to scope and click yes, what this will do is that we will only log traffic for this IP address. This can be very tricky if you're browsing to other websites at the same time. You don't want to be scanning other people's website by accident or analyzing the traffic. So I planned on doing a website crawl using Burp Suite, but after some new research, this new version of Burp Suite does not allow website crawling or any form of passive scanning. So, but that's no problem at all. 